Hello friends. So in the previous session we saw that the circumference of a circle divided by diameter of the circle is always a constant and uh, we know from our previous knowledge that this constant is equal to pi. This constant is equal to pi. So this session is dedicated towards some information about pi. Now pi is an irrational number. So what is an irrational number? It cannot be expressed in the form of a ratio of two integers. Okay, so it's an irrational number. So hence it, it, it cannot be expressed as a fraction. Its decimal representation is not recurring and not terminating, right? This is, uh, we know that a uh, number is irrational if its decimal representation is not recurring or non-terminating. Now pi value is, up, you know, 3.14159265 and it goes on. It gives random digits here. It's very difficult to find a trend in uh, the digits of pi. Hence, it's an irrational number. Approximate values of pi is also 22 by 7. So many times there is an uh, people make an error and they equate 22 by 7 uh, to pi, but it's wrong. Actually, pi is approximate value is 22 by 7. The you know uh, for all practical purposes in our day-to-day -day calculations, we can't really use this number for calculation. So hence we have approximated pi. So pi is approximately equal to 22 by 7. It's correct to only two decimal places. Now there are, there are many more accurate value of pi and uh, another one is 355 upon 133. It's correct to six decimal places and that's good enough for again most of scientific and engineering per, um, applications. 1 upon pi is 0 0.3183. This is another good information because uh, uh, you'll see pi into 1 pi pi is approximately equal to uh, 10. So many a times uh, we use this um, calculation, right? Pi into 1 by pi is approximately equal to. So I'm writing pi into 1, 1 upon pi is approximately equal to 10. So we use this um, uh, calculation, uh, you, know, you know, this we use this for simplicity of calculation. Now, is pi is called Archimedes principle, uh, sorry, I, Archimedes constant. Now, Archimedes was a third century BC um, philosopher, scientist. He created an algorithm to calculate pi as early as 300 BC. Now, the value of pi is not restricted to only uh, Greeks. Actually, there are lots of evidences which show that pi was being used in Egyptian civilization, Mesopotamia and all, where uh, closest approximation of pi were used. So, uh, one closest approximation was 25 upon 8. So, people were using pi since long, long time. Now, there are these uh, expressions of pi. So, you know pi is uh, uh, circumference divided by diameter of a circle. Those who know integration, uh, they, those who have knowledge of calculus, they also know that pi is nothing but when you integrate uh, 1 upon 1 minus x square under root. So, and uh, the limits are minus 1 to 1, then you get pi again. So these are uh, different expressions. Now pi has been expressed as continued fraction as well. So here is an example where it is expressed as a continued fraction. And if you see all the approximations of pi, all the fractional approximations of pi has been um, achieved by um, equating some part as zero. So for example, in this case, if I equate, let us say this is very small, very small number so if i if i if i take this as zero then this value becomes 3 plus 1 upon 7 which today we use as 22 upon 7 isn't it so this this is used for you know approximate you know finding a fraction approximately equal to pi so that is continued fraction now there are multiple other continued fractions in which you can express pi so pi is also 4 upon 1 plus 1 square upon 3 plus 2 square upon 5 so on and so forth. This is one continued fraction. Another one is this. So uh, these are uh, the various known continued fractions which whose value is equal to pi. Now there are many techniques to find out pi. There, is, there are lots of applications of pi as well in science and mathematics and especially physics. Uh, in electrostatics and uh, other, other such topics you have seen that pi is used extensively in wave mechanics as well pi is used extensively 
so uh, pi has got a lot of uh, applications in multiple areas of science so hence it is good to know pi a little bit so hence the session was for that thanks